As the world we inhabit accelerates and changes, the questions need to be asked. How well do our leading companies adapt to new risks? How quickly do we innovate to meet new opportunities and threats? How do we address the climate crisis while also being responsible to our shareholders? Can we curb carbon emissions and still grow profitably? These are the questions that confront the U.S. corporate sector as it searches to define a response to the growing and present reality of climate change. Forward-thinking companies are realizing that in order to be successful and sustainable, it's time to chart a new course, one that works in greater harmony with nature. They're responding to the challenge and solutions advanced in a landmark report by CDP and WWF, built on data analytics and related metrics delivered by McKinsey and Company and Point380. The 3% solution specifically outlines how companies can substantially reduce carbon emissions while increasing resiliency, ROI, and profits. It shows in stark relief how in order to avoid the worst consequences of climate change, we must substantially cut carbon now to avoid the 1.2 gigaton gap that will exist by 2020 if we continue with business as usual. And to achieve this, the report unveils a profitable solution, the 3% solution. The U.S. corporate sector needs to reduce its emissions by 3% or better each year through 2020 to get us on track to help curb climate change. And the great news is that these reductions can result in billions in profits across sectors. Finally, the report shows why the window in which to act is rapidly closing. Delaying action will force even steeper cuts in carbon, while exposing operations and supply chains to increased risk of catastrophic droughts and storms. It is quite literally a race against time. The encouraging news is the 3% solution is both practical and profitable. And the most enlightened companies have already spotted an opportunity for innovation and growth. The 30 companies that make up WWF's Climate Savers Initiative have already decreased emissions by 100 million metric tons since the program began in 1999, twice the annual equivalent of a country like Switzerland. They've also generated significant returns on investment, created competitive advantage, and increased shareholder value. We've shown over the last 10 years that we can reduce our emissions and do it profitably. We've found addressing climate change uh, is not only right for the environment, um, it makes really good business sense. And I think when that happens, the world changes. There's absolutely no reason to wait for any kind of government action of any kind on this part of the process. This is good business. It's the right thing to do. From energy and IT, to industrials, manufacturing, transportation and retail, to greening our existing infrastructure and constructing smarter cities. It will take all of us, committed and in the game, to create a cleaner, more resilient economy. And as the mounting success stories attest, the benefits to bolster net present value are many. By focusing sector by sector on a shared goal of cutting emissions by 3% or better, the 3% solution offers a roadmap for how companies can capture annual cost savings of $190 billion in 2020 alone. We can curb the emissions and realize the gains, and in doing so, create a new, more resilient, resource-efficient economy.